so we'll start hmm? see we'll disc uh, what are the things we discussed till now so that we'll do some practice and we'll uh, uh, do the other things okay see we'll create some table okay so with so create some account master table and uh, uh, account master tab okay so so while uh, storing of uh, customer information to open the account so what are the informations we are going to capture from the customer that we are going to maintain now okay see what the information you will capture from the customer that so account master see try to practice with different uh, uh, thing from your end okay now i'm like taking the uh, uh, bank financial things okay you people can take from uh, any schools or hospitals like that okay now i'm going to create maintain like a so we need to generate some account number for the uh, customer and uh, name and we have account open date account close date account type so you may add like current balance current balance and uh, some other tables like uh, see account information will capture in the uh, account table and customer information will capture in the customer master table So in customer master table, so we'll uh, um, maintain the information in this way. So customer master. See here you are, you will maintain like a customer ID, account number and customer ID is the, both are the different. Okay, then the name, name. So then we have a customer creation date. Customer ID creation. Creation date. Close date. We have customer type also. account type is different customer type is different so account type will define the, like you know saving account current account real time account customer type will decide whether it is an employee or whether it is a uh, like student so whether it is an organization so these are all things will uh, uh, decide in this place okay then you may have so here you may have the customer id as well See, the customer may have the multiple accounts, right? Customer may have the multiple accounts. So the accounts, what are the accounts is linked with this customer that need to be identified, right? So that's the reason we are going to maintain the customer ID as well along with your account generation, okay? So based on your customer ID, we are going to generate the account number, okay? Then we may have product code, product code or product ID. Okay, so you may have this all information, right? So, so however, we saw like a transaction date and all those things yesterday. Okay, now we are going to maintain this information. So, one, double, two, three is the account number. See, the customer or the uh, business people will give these sample values sample values 
it's a name. So X, Y, Z. So account opening date. So whenever you are inserting this uh, information that need to take as a default date as a current date. Current date. So the current date will be the values. So you may provide like a tool. Chan 23. See, this is the sample value. See, we have some function to capture the current date. To capture the current date, we'll use that function. Okay, we'll use that function, current date. See, and we have the close date. So whenever you see the account opening date can be uh, captured simply uh, by using the sys date. So sys date is the function, it gives the current date. See, select star from dual. See, dual is a table. Dual is a table. So wherever it requires some temporary uh, help or temporary operations where you need to perform. So those type of operations you can uh, perform on top of this because this is a system defined table. You cannot able to do any modification on this table. See now if I delete the data from this table. It's showing insufficient privilege to drop this table. No, it is showing table or view does not exist. Okay, then if you truncate, so you cannot able to do anything on this table. Dual is a system defined table. So system defined table. So this help us where we need to perform some temporary calculations or temporary operations wherever we need to do that are the places we are going to use this table. Okay, so what type of operations we are going to do with this? This contain only one column. Dummy is the column name. Dummy is the column name. See, sys date is the function. Sys date is the function. This will give the current date. 12.01.23. 12.01.23. So if you mention like a See, instead of if you use the dual, right, you are using like dual here. In case if you are using like an EMP table, what will happen? Select star from EMP. See, employee number, we have like how many rows we have in this? 14 records, right? If we, if you call this function now in the EMP table, the same function is date. Now see, it is executing the same, it, it is executing the function like a 14 times. Instead of executing with the one time, it is executing 14 times. So to avoid this type of things, we'll use, uh, to avoid these type of things, we'll use uh, dual table, okay? Okay, now, now we are going to use wherever it required like account opening date. So while inserting of the data, we'll make it as a state is the value for that. Okay, now, now see the account opening date. So instead of maintaining the date here, simply mention like a state in Oracle. So here we don't have that uh, date function. That's the reason I mentioned like a that's the reason I mentioned like current date. See, you are getting the value now. So date. So you may get the different date value here. Okay. Then close date. So when like you know uh, the account opening date can be happen today. That may be see the closing need to be update. See the account opening date. Uh, can be happen at the opening time. The closing date you need to update manually. So you no need to do insertion here. You need you need to update the account closing date. Okay. So 
and account type is sba as rba or uh, uh, you know current uh, cba okay so you may mention like that then you can mention the values in this way and customer id also you can mention like a one so these are the sample values they are going to provide so based on this sample document you need to design the table or uh, they are will provide some uh, you know uh, sample values so sample values so here here they are going to provide uh, in this particular field they are going to provide PPA. So in this format, they are going to provide. So either of this value I'm going to provide. So here based on this document, you need to design the table. Based on this document, you need to design the table. So you may, they, the user may provide some more values. So I inserted only one value. So I'm going to design this table accordingly. Okay. So simply I'm copying this all the columns. I'm pasting in this place. Okay, so now, now the sample value is one to uh, double one double two three. So it is a number value, numerical values. So if you want to store the numerical values, use the number data time. So how many characters? So four or five characters. Treat like I. So we have four only. You can mention like only four. Okay, for now. So then we have name. The name is a X Y Z. So how many characters it allows? So care of. So maximum the name, uh, maximum length of name is 32 characters. That also they are going to mention in this place. They are going to mention max name value is 32 characters. So they are going to mention in this way that we can easily remember or we easily, we easily maintain that information in this place okay so 32 so account opening date so we are going to maintain the date values mention the date data type so close date date account type see account type so we have the sba 3ba something like we have three values three character values right so you need to mention these values as well in this place care of three then we have the current balance is a number see the number data type so if you mention like a number here it stores only integer value it won't store like a decimal values if you want to store decimal values as well we want to store decimal values as well in this so that i will explain by tomorrow so while discussing about the data types okay so i'm simply i'm mentioning like a five comma two see or uh, something like ten comma two see the number data type size i'm mentioning as a ten Total characters as a 10. Out of these 10 characters, I'm going to maintain two decimal values. Especially, I am allocating the two digits for the two digits for the decimal values. Okay, two digits for the decimal values. Then we have the customer ID. So mention the number as a data type for that. type for that so this we mentioned uh, closing this table okay now the table has been designed the same format i am going to create the same format i am going to create I'm going to create the customer master table as well Okay, so I don't want to waste the time here. So I'm simply copying and creating the table. OK, 
create table customer master and customer id is the number see in this place account master table you are maintaining the number data type for the customer id in the sense so customer master table also we need to maintain the same data type for that okay so why why uh, we need to maintain that all those things we'll discuss in uh, uh, you know third day class so constraints concept we'll get in that place we'll do okay then we have the customer creation date as date then we have close date so maintain date customer type so customer type so you can maintain care of two okay so product code so maintain like a number okay now i created these two tables and i'm going to insert the data okay see i created this table i forget to add okay well first we'll insert the data see here customer master is the table is the parent table for us because once it generate the customer id then only the account will generate see the account customer id table does not depending on the account master table the account master is depending on the customer master table right so now i am going to insert the data into this table select star from customer master insert into customer master values so you can maintain like customer id is a one two three and name so name is see whenever you are inserting the data character values that values you need to keep always in the single quotations so if you are inserting character values that values you must and should maintain in the single quotations the number data type you can directly provide how you are going to uh, insert normally so one two three so while inserting of i'm inserting like shiva and we have other thing like uh, what it is customer creation date so you may provide the date value or you can mention simply c state this insert the current date okay then then we have the customer uh, uh, what we have customer close date close date so we don't have right so no need to mention any value for that simply mention null so what is the meaning of null null see i'm inserting null here so we'll see what what will happen with if we are inserting the null okay then we have what we have customer close customer type right customer type so i'm mentioning customer type as so one two Okay, and uh, 32. Then we have product ID is a hundred. Okay, now I inserted the data in this and I am okay, and I am inserting another record as well. One to four. So C state and uh, 32 right so i'm mentioning like 30 here and uh, customer product id is 110 okay so we inserted two records here and see the customer is provided the uh, uh, submission form like to generate the customer id details and all those things see the customer id uh, I need to, I suppose to generate the customer ID always at the current date. See, in exceptional cases, we need to generate uh, uh, some customer ID at the backdated, at the backdated, the creation time need to be maintained at the first January. In such case, you will maintain in this way, hard coding the values, first Jan 23. Okay, see now, the same uh, customer information you inserted two times two times with duplicate records okay see now we have this data 
I forget to maintain the customer uh, gender value here. I forget to maintain the customer gender value here. So now the client is asked to maintain the gender value as well. So if you want to add that alter table, alter table, table name, how to add the column to this table? So it's a interactive session. It's not the class actually. So we are just, uh, you know, uh, recollecting everything. How uh, we need to create the table? How we need to truncate? How we need to add the column? Deleting the column? These all are information we are going to perform now. Okay. Uh, now if I add this column, so where it is going to add? So the column is going to add at the end of the columns at end of the columns in this place you are going to add this column we cannot able to add gender value gender column in the middle of the columns okay so if you are adding any column that column is going to add at the end of the thing so you cannot able to add in the middle of the columns existing columns see uh, now sir, if, sir sir in the gender in character uh, we have to mention any number for that size character number. bracket size, size. Yes, yes yeah the size need to be mentioned but if you haven't mentioned the size for the character data type it it considered as a one okay okay that means one is very less Am I yeah one is so we are going to maintain m or f right okay see now if you mention the car or if you mention like car of one uh, both are the same okay both are the same. That's the reason I haven't mentioned. Okay. Now we added this. Okay, if you add the column, if the data is already present uh, with some of the records, right? For all the records, it, it adding the null value for this. See null. It is showing null for you, right? See here I am copying the value 110 by pressing uh, uh, control C and I'm pasting in this place in the single quotations. So I type the two single quotations and I'm pasting that value in the middle. So the value is pasted here, right? Now I'm copying this. Some like uh, this value ready and I'm pasting this in this place. Control V. OK, the value is pasted here, right? Now I am deleted this and I'm copying this gender value. It is showing NULL, right? I'm copying this and I'm pasting in this place. Okay. No value is copied and pasted also. So null is a undefined value. Null is a undefined value. If you insert NULL or if you insert in this format also, both are the same. If you insert like this, there is no value you are going to insert here. It's simply inserting the blank value, blank, null. Okay. It inserting the blank value. So it's a null. Null is a undefined value. You cannot able to uh, like, you know, define that particular value. So there is no uh, define of that particular value. That's we can call it as a null. Okay. So zero also having some value. Some space is also having some value. See, it is space also is occupying some space, but null, it won't occupy any space. In case if you provide like null in the single quotations, then it treat like as a NULL as a character values, not the null. If you want to insert wherever you need to insert the blank value or null value, try to use null as a without single quotations. Okay, now we inserted this and we added these values. Gender column you added. So we need to update the gender values for these customers, right? So you need to update the values. Update. So how we need to do the uh, values updation for this particular three customers? Update table table name where name equal to Shiva, generator equal to F. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Update. Update table table name. No, update table name. No need okay. to use table. Okay, update table. 
table gen, uh, gender equal to f set gender equal to f okay equal to f where name equal to shiva okay name equals to shiva okay shiva same yes okay one row is updated and uh, if you want to update like a uh, m with uh, uh, now with i need to update with the uh, uh, remaining two values as well so one of the value i need to update m one of the value i need to update as a f sir at a time we have to update the two values you can update you can update okay. at a okay. time two values okay Amber. if you mention like now ready right so it yes. update two reddies as a m but i don't okay. want to update two uh, values as a m i need to update so one of the uh, ready as a f one of the ready as a another one in the time we have to um, be, um, where condition creation date we have to use it i think yes and creation date equals to see everybody need to uh, answer man it's a interactive session this only will give uh, like more comfortable uh, to uh, work with sql okay so now i am going to insert this value in this place creation date for 12123 okay so one of the value i am going to make it as a f now it is showing gender equals to f it, we are not able to update this value what happen it is not updating name mm -hmm. equal to ready and customer creation date equals to this right so you need to keep sir sir uh, in that time the creation name for master that's not that, that, that is not a problem actually okay okay creation spelling creation okay now i got this uh, problem here now see you mention like this date yes sir this date right from to it mm -hmm. here you are able to see only the date and the uh, month month year only right see so this may having the hours and minutes as well hours and minutes as well so you are not able to see that right so we'll see now alter session one second so we need to set the date format if we want to uh, show that we need to check like a how to set the nls date format NLS. nls date format so the nls date format will uh, set the values for you alter systems at nls date format equals to this see 2023 first january so and we have 1846 33 so if you are running this the back end it is storing in this format if i use like trunk the trunk will eliminate or remove this hours and minutes from your value so the trunk won't work on the character values trunk works on the okay so now we have in this format right so i am converting this into date format and i am using trunk 
and i am applying the same function on top of this after truncating this to underscore char of this particular format see earlier we are able to see like uh, 18 uh, something like right now it is showing 000, zero, zero. so many we don't have like a, a hours and minutes for you okay so that's the reason it is giving the trouble for you you are not able to pick the value you are not able to get pick the value that's the reason i use the trunk function it eliminated hours and minutes for you and it is you are able to update that particular value okay got it right the trunk function will help us to eliminate the uh, if we use like a, you know just one second huh? the trunk advantage i will show you so 2.3 uh, 2.5 2.9 from dual see now i am performing like you know 2.3 or 2.5 something like okay you will get confused with this okay select 2.3 from dual right if we use the round round you know in mathematical function if you are dividing with uh, 5 by 2 something like right what will happen if you use 5 by 2 2.5 in the sense you will get one second, huh? two by one. How much you will get? Two. Two by two, zero, right? Three by two, one point five are getting, right? If I use the round in mathematical, if we use the round, what will happen? It becoming like as a two, right? In case, in case, so 1.2, if you are dividing, like what is happening? Now it is becoming like as a, see, 1.2, round of 1.2, so it, now it is happening like a 1.2 as a 1. If you mention like 1.4, now it is rounding as a 1. Now if you mention like a 5, it becoming like as a two, okay. 1.9 also two, right? Two. two. So the same how the mathematical function is getting calculated, how we are 0 0.49 till 0 0.49 if we have, we are making as a zero, 0 0.5 or 0 0.99 we have, the, we are making as a one, right? The same way the round function is works. If I use the trunk function here, Eliminate that decimal values for you. See, even if it is a 1.99 also, it is displaying as a actual integer value. It eliminating that decimal values. In the same format, see if you are uh, inserting like a 39, it displaying as a 1. If you mention like a 59, it is going for the 1 only. In, if you use the drawn function, it will go for the 2. The advantage of the trunk, it eliminate the decimal values in the numerical values and it eliminate the hours and minutes in the date values. Okay. Sir, in uh, uh, round we have to use for the date. You can able to use the date also, round. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, that, that we have separate class actually. Okay, sir. So okay. I use some function here, you may get like why I use this trunk in this place, right? So I'm giving just the explanation I, for I that to one. Okay, sir, hmm? I understood. Okay, so now we perform like creation, alter, and update, right? So if we add the column for the existing records, it add the null value for that, right? Now you are adding the null value for that, correct? Yes, sir. Yeah. 
now i am dropping this uh, column now i am dropping this column see if you want to drop this column we'll use simply drop and gender value right no need to mention the size if you mention the size what happened care of one it gives the error for you missing right parentheses okay so practice with errors so practice with errors only errors okay see now also it is giving the error because you mentioned the data type also right now we deleted the column from this table now i am going to add the column right it how, what is happening here if i add the column it is adding the blank value for that particular existing records right now i'm dropping this and i suppose to mention what are the existing records i have the gender so i don't want to uh, reinsert or re-update the values i'm making as say I don't know like what is the gender for the existing customers. So simply I'm mentioning the default value as a X. Default value as a X. Now I altered. So, see, the column is added along with the, some default value. Right? Column is already added along with some default value. So where we need to, where I, I don't want to touch the existing customer information. So I'm simply mentioning as a X as a default value for them. And uh, if I'm going to insert any value, I'm going to make it as a M or F. Okay. Right, now we added, adding and dropping, we know. Right now, now I don't want to maintain the two different two duplicate values. Now I have the two duplicate values here, 124. Right, one of the value I need to delete. Simply, how we updated here, the same format, take the value and delete one of the record. So, which record you need to delete, that you need to be aware. So before deleting any data, so you need to be right with select statement first. Select star from customers where name equals to this. Okay. So you you want to delete this record or with other record. So you don't want to delete this record. So choose the different one. See earlier we are getting 12 Jan record. Now we are getting first first 23. Okay, so select and verify the data and delete the information. Okay, so I deleted this. Okay, now we have the two records here. Okay, now I'm going to insert some more record, one more record. One twenty five. So, uh, see. So, first chant twenty and uh, product ID is at ten. Now it is showing the error for it. See, earlier we have only six columns. Now we have the seven columns. It is giving the error for you, not enough values. Not enough values. See, when you will get this not enough values error, if, see, uh, so when you are getting this error, not enough values. See, because we are getting this error, See, this table is having how many columns you need to verify first. Describe. And how many columns we have here? Customer ID, name, three columns, six, seven columns. 
So how many values you provided here? Three, six, right? See, we have two syntaxes. For insert statement, I said we have two types of uh, ways to insert the data. One is, one is, so taking the column names and mentioning in the column list, the advantage of this syntax is this. If you don't know like how many columns we have in this particular table. So now we have six columns. Now I have the only six columns and I'm in inserting the six column values only here. It won't give any problem for you. In this case, it is giving the error for you because in this column list, in this column list, you haven't mentioned the number of columns. Meaning if you are not mentioning the number of columns here, it take all the column list in this place. It take all the column list in this place in this way. Gender, if you run now this statement, it give the error for you, not enough values. Now the value list is this. Value list is this. How many values we have? Six. How many columns we have in this column list? Seven. So in this case, if we have more number of columns than the value list, we will get the not enough values error. In case, in case, if you provide, if you provide number of columns is less and value is provided greater than the number of columns, we will get the too many values error. Too many values error, okay? So far, uh, all are clear, right? Too many values. Okay. So now we done with errors also. So what type of error we are going to get? Okay. Now, now we inserted the data. So we don't know like order of this uh, table. Okay. We don't know order of the table. Or you can check in this way. Customer ID name, right? So now I'm changing with uh, name place as a customer ID name, sorry, customer ID place name and customer name place ID. Okay, so ID place I'm inserting the name and name place I'm inserting the ID. Okay, now I'm trying to insert the data in this. It is getting the too many values error for you. So because it is a different error. Now if you run this, see, we have six columns in the column list and value list also six. Now it is giving the different error for you. Invalid number. Invalid number. See, the number data type can allow only the numerical values 0 to 9. So 0 to 9 values, if you provide any value, it allows. Okay. If you are providing other than the 0 to 9 values, okay, it gives the error for you. It gives the error for you as an invalid number. It's not the number, right? So V, A, C, alphabetical values. It's not the number value. So that's the reason it is giving the error for you. Invalid number. Okay. So now, now we'll see with the different error. Okay, so what's the data type? Uh, describe this table once. See, customer master table, you mentioned customer type as a two characters, right? Now I'm going to maintain three characters for the customer type. And I'm correcting these values. One, two, seven, and uh, six. Take. Now I inserted the data correctly and uh, select the data in this place. Okay, so now the customer type is having only two characters here because. I mentioned the maximum size as a two only, care of two. It allows only the two character values. Okay. Now I am trying to insert, 
try to insert two character values. 199 more than two characters. See now it is giving the different error for you. Value too large for the specified uh, customer master table of the customer type column. Actually, you are providing the three characters, but it maximum it allows only two characters. It's giving the clear error for you. Okay, so you are inserting the three characters for this customer type column, but maximum it allows only three characters. This is the meaning of this particular thing. Value too large for this column. Here it is showing system dot customer master dot customer type. See here system is the username or owner name. See on which user you logged in. That is you can call it as a schema name or user or owner also. Owner, user, schema. Both are three are the same. Okay. Then if you haven't mentioned this system, then by default it take whatever the logged in user you have you treat like as a the logged in user object this is it treat like as a this right now we are selecting this data here right customer master if you mention like system dot also if you run this way or if you remove this also both are the same okay both are the same see the same way it is giving the error for you customer master out of the customer master we have the customer type column so in it is giving the error for you okay now we're done with uh, all the uh, errors of insertion uh, uh, thing so you may get this in the updation as well okay updation as well okay, okay. okay. updation as well now if you want to delete the data from table will you simply I committed and uh, if I use delete delete, delete from the table name delete all the data or and mistakenly I deleted all the data so I verified in my table my table does not have any data so if we delete the data you have the option to roll back roll back See, no one will explain in this way. So I'm giving very practical session with all. OK, see, yes. now the data is came back. OK, so you verified. So you supposed to delete only one record out of this. So now I'm deleting with uh, customer ID. Equal to 123. Anything 123 or anything. So I'm deleting this data. So now the data is deleted. I verified in my table. Yeah, it's correct only. So I whatever the data I need to delete that has been deleted successfully. So use the commit now, right? After committing this, if I use the rollback, if I use the rollback, there is no advantage after committing this. See, the banker is doing the transaction. So you asked me to deposit one lakh rupees on your, uh, his account. So you, you you are the known person him to he he is like uh, uh, credited the amount um, later he is verifying the uh, like denomination uh, things denomination things in the sense so he provided how many five hundreds how many uh, fake currency how many uh, like valid notes he provided so something he is verifying after performing his after performing of your transaction, after completion of your transaction, he is verifying the details. So you did like, you know, a fake currency in the middle, like 10,000 rupees. So he he does not have authority to roll back or to cancel that earlier transaction. Whatever the transaction has performed by the banker, so he cannot able to roll back. Right? So in case he he is uh, uh, he did like unauthorized, unauthorized transaction, so they they may have the option, but if you know that information to you, you will against uh, raise the complaint against that person, right? 
So, yeah. meaning mm -hmm. you don't mm -hmm. have the direct access to roll back that particular information after committing that. So, use the commit a uh, roll back also. The transaction won't came back. Okay. Okay, before commit only we have to do the rollback. If we are committed yes. means we yes. are unable to rollback. If roll we use it. the commit or rollback, so if we use the rollback, the transaction is cancelled or, or by mistake, yeah, this is a valid transaction. I need to save in the sense. It, it won't be happen like that. Sir, one got thing it, I have right? to ask you. Yes, yes, I got it. But uh, we we done the three or four tables continuously deleting. In that time, rollback we are doing multiple times or one time is enough for the, that four no, tables. If we use that. one time as a commit or rollback, right? All the pending transaction is get saved or cancelled. Whatever the transactions you did till now, uh, uh, like, you know, you did like 10 a.m. as a one commit and you did like multiple transactions and uh, till uh, 12 p.m. Okay. In the middle of whatever the transactions you did, if we use the save option or commit, all the transactions will be saved on all the tables. Okay. If you are not committed, uh, one hour transaction is done. We have to roll back that uh, one hour transactions. Means it is, uh, it is uh, we it will, it will do it. Yes, if we use the rollback, all these one hour transactions will get close. Okay, sir, I understood. Okay, so now we deleted this and we committed, right? Uh, but I need that existing uh, uh, customer information. So 123 customer information, we, uh, I need that particular information. So the uh, customer is asking to revoke that information back. We have the option to flash back the table, right? If you drop the table, the table is draw, uh, storing in the recycle bin or you are able to restore that, right? The same way you can able to, you can able to, Flashback the data, query data. So flashback the data as of timestamp. If you search in the Google like uh, as of timestamp, and Varaki. See, it is giving Varaki flashback with as of timestamp command. So then you can run in this way. That's my master. I don't want to mention uh, any other things, right? So C state minus one. So what I am doing here, if I use like C state minus one, select C state from dual. What is happening here? It is showing dual John, right? If I use like a minus one, it will show eleven zero one. So what I am doing here. So I'm like uh, taking the uh, time from now to the previous days time. So you are not able to fetch this uh, switch date minus one. So in this case, we'll use the interval command to get the minus uh, 10 minutes or kind. One second. See, as of timestamp. So the timestamp need to be no. 2023 and we have the month as a chart and the date is 12 what the time you are looking so now we are in 1914 now i'm mentioning like 1904 10 minutes back i'm taking the system see now we are seeing with uh, four records in my table right Got it? Ajab timestamp is the command to flash back the query data. Flash back the query data. So this will, uh, this I can explain in the data types concept by tomorrow. Okay. So how, okay, uh, why we are, so two underscore timestamp. So you need to provide, the system need to understand uh, this is the year, this is the month, this is the uh, date, this is the hour, minute, second. These need to be understood to the system, right? For that reason, we'll use 
two underscore timestamp is the function to get it understand clearly this is the date value I'm going to provide. Okay. Got it. So uh, note down this command. This will help uh, in uh, all of sudden like someone is deleted the data from the production in such place. At least you can take the insertion statements. See now if we know if we inserted this right. So I know like how to uh, delete this data, uh, how to get this data. So. Sir, this is called is uh, like rollback or uh, revoke? No flash packing the data. See, okay. it is not uh, storing the data into the table. So if you see your original table will contain only three records. See, your original table is having only three records. If I use this command, you are going to get uh, that record as well. So if I remove this where class, we will get all the four records. You get to know if you if you put like a, you know we have sets you know in mathematics we have sets intersect union. Right? Oh, yes sir yes sir joins. If we if we are using intersect it give the common records, right? If we use yes. the minus here it give the so what are the records is not present in current set to the old set. You can verify if I use the union or intersect. Sorry, Inter intersect will give the these are the common records. In both sets, we have this. That's the reason it is giving this. Okay, this is the way we can be able to identify. This is the flashback the query option. How we are dropping the table and it is going to store in the recycle bin and. Uh, how we are going to flashback that you are restoring the table by using the flashback.